rescue. And the former governor had been in failing health for months. The last time we saw him was on election night when he joined his son on stage in New York City. And it was clear then he was frail. Even so, the news of his death is heartbreaking for many, including those who worked alongside him. Hannah Myler spoke to two local politicians who had close relationships with the former governor. Anna, good evening. Good evening, Benita. Former mayor of Albany, Jerry Jennings, says Mario Cuomo leaves a large legacy behind, but says more than anything, he was a governor who always had his door open, and he feels fortunate he could have called him a mentor. The death of former New York Governor Mario Cuomo weighs heavy on the heart of Jerry Jennings. Mario was a mentor to him during his first year as mayor of Albany and recalls the most important lesson he learned from him. So I didn't have all the answers. <laughs> you know, we had a lot of very candid discussions and he opened my eyes up to a lot of things that challenges on the state level that would really help benefit all of us if we worked together. And it was about working together, regardless of where you were from, who you were, forget about all the background, but let's just work together and do what's best for our state. Former Assemblyman Jack McEnany worked alongside Mario in the Capitol. He remembers him as a magnificent public speaker who became renowned on the national stage. But as McEnany recalls, to reach that political presence, he had to overcome prejudice. He was Italian American with Italian American name. He tied for number one in the graduating class of St. John's Law School, and 50 major firms turned him down. And it was only because of that. And I think that experience, painful as it was, uh, is something that influenced him in a positive way in his career because he felt that discrimination and identified with other people who, who needed a, uh, a hand and protection and encouragement. Passing away at the age of 82, the three-term governor leaves a long legacy, perhaps one that will continue through his son, Andrew Cuomo, who was sworn in as New York's governor for a second term hours before his father died. It has to be so difficult. It really does. And, you know, we all should support the family and support the governor and his family and say, you know what, you have a lot to be proud of, Andrew, and you have been a very effective governor because of your dad and what you've learned from him. Many others learned from Mario as well. His liberal beliefs and desire to help others influence politicians across the state and the country. I just think it's one of those moments in time that I don't know if we'll ever see his like again, but he was definitely an inspirational person. And Benita, Jerry Jennings says he actually got to know Mario Cuomo long before he was mayor, back when he was vice principal at Albany High School. He says that's because Mario Cuomo was so invested in children and the school system, and that eventually became a common cause they shared at the Capitol. Reporting live in the newsroom, Anna Myler, News Channel 13. Back to you, Benita. Some wonderful recollections there, Anna. Thank you.